Welcome to my first official camper vlog. No, for real. I am in the middle of organizing our whole lives. And I thought, well, what a better time to start a new vlog. Um, so welcome back. Sorry it's been a while. Um, while I am organizing, basically the gist is totes, labels, sort, organize, purge. Um, I thought I would tell you a little bit about where I've been and what's been going on. So, if you're interested, stay tuned because it's a wild story. Okay, I hope you can hear me over the fan. So, where have I been? Well, about, I don't know when this is going up, but on January 28th, um, we actually had a house fire. <sighs> the story with that, I was in the shower, and my husband came running in, and he kind of, oh, a fire, and I didn't really catch it, so I kind of went strolling up and down the hallway like, what did, what did he say? I didn't, I just, I didn't understand what was happening. And he comes back in. He's like, did you call 911? I was like, no, why? He's like, the house, the garage is on fire. I run back in, grab my kids, still naked, um, go to get them out the door. And of all people, my pastor and a very good, basically kind of an assistant pastor in a, in a way, um, were at my front door. And he reaches his hand in, and I say, I'm naked, take my babies. So I run back in the house. I grab clothes, grab my doll, grab my purse, grab my blanket, put my clothes on, and bolt out the door. And so then I get my kids to safety at my mom's, come back. We start dealing with the house, I'm waiting on the firefighters to come. Um, and long story short, it did end up being we lost everything. Um, the house, I have some pictures I can include. Like, I, I don't know if we've officially received the word, but everybody who's looked at it, um, inspectors and everything, has basically said, oh, I'm going to assume this is a total loss. And we're like, same -sies. But yeah, um, I had mentioned on my TikTok that I wanted to do a very de in detail, like, telling you everything that happened. So I guess I need to start with the fact that my husband was on the couch when the fire started. Like I said, I was in the shower. Our boys were in bed asleep and we hear someone throwing on the horn or he did. He runs out to see what the heck's going on. And sure enough, he sees that the garage is on fire. So that's when his story kind of starts. And then from there, I get involved. And just at that time, my pastor, my assistant pastor, who had been traveling to um, a town a couple hours away to see someone in the hospital, just so happened to be passing back by our house. Like, <clears throat> they were going to stop and get dinner. They were going, there was all these different circumstances. But just as they came by, they were like, is there, is that gr truck garage on fire? So they throw it in reverse, run into our driveway. That's when my pastor meets me on the porch, gets my kids. I mean, of all people, like the whole point of this story is to tell you how God has been with us and blessed us every step of the way since this whole thing started. Because, I mean, you can't tell me of all people to save your kids, the fact that it's your pastor, you know, who's basically my father-in-law, that's God. So, <clears throat> the house, totally a loss. Um, we were able to save some things. We lost a lot of the big stuff. Some of the small stuff we were able to save. Um, basically, the fire went through our attic from the garage and came back over. So anything on the walls was lost. Um, our bathroom where I was was completely destroyed. The boys' room completely destroyed. Our bedroom completely destroyed, basically. Like everything on my desk. I lost my computer, my editing stuff, lots of my makeup. God got us out. My boys are safe. 
My husband is safe. My dog made it. So, I have no tears to cry except in gratitude for the fact that God got us out safely. So, all that happens, we end up at my mom's for a few days. And then we were able to get into my dad's camper, which is where I am now. And I honestly, only two weeks out from this, I probably still don't know the full ends, odds and ends of everything. But I can tell you, people have given us water tanks to help here at this heat, the camper, so that we don't have to fill our tanks up more. People have donated my community, my family, my friends, and my community. They have donated so much to us. I mean, these clothes um, that my dad got, just above and beyond, people have been so, so kind to us. Um, people ask, are you devastated at the loss of your house? I'm sad. That house was a blessing. But no, I'm not devastated because God saved the things that I was most worried about. Like I said, I still just don't even have the words almost to just telling you God is good just doesn't cover it. So where was I? Um, so basically, um, for the moment being, we are, like I said, in my dad's camper. I am trying to organize everything because whew, I'm an organizer. So hopefully I can do what I do best. And get some whatever but I need to give you a tour of this camper because it's really nice um thankfully my dad kind of has like a tricked out camper excuse me that we are staying in so that works out well I mean it's queen bed Stand up shower, bathroom, two recliners, island kitchen, dinette, twin bed or twin bunk beds, bunk beds. So we do have, we're using like this side as storage for stuff. <laughs> but I need more totes for my husband and I's clothes because right now they're just kind of going in piles. What well, does work out well? is that our boys are in the same size clothes even though they're 18 months apart <laughs> so that has definitely helped uh reducing some of the need to super super organize because basically i just throw all their clothes in one thing and then i just grab two outfits like i don't have to sort by sizes or nothing like that which is helpful except for their underwear i do have to sort their underwear um because my oldest is in a size bigger but other than that Oops, I can't spell. So right now we're kind of in the process of finding a rental. Because um, I want to be out of here by April when my dad and my brother start camping. Obviously because I don't want to like infringe on their space. Not that my dad cares. He, he will do whatever. But I personally would like to be out of here so that they can do their thing come camping time. So that's kind of where we are. Still sorting. <laughs> stuff to sort but just I'm just gonna take it a chunk at a time today I was able to get my computer replaced got that check squared away with the insurance dude made sure I, everything was on the up and up before I went and bought one so I can start editing and uploading again um makeup content is gonna be creative because I don't have the stock of stuff that I did at one time. And I'm not going to go out and purchase stuff. Um, I do have a full face of what I'd repurchase if I lost my makeup. Because I did get the bare necessities so that I had some makeup to put on when I went to church Sunday. Because I was like, babe, I really don't want to look disheveled when I go to church Sunday. I said, can I take some money and just buy me like a face of makeup? Not that he would ever object, but, you know, it's good practice to talk through purchases and whatnot, especially now that, you know, we're really watching what we do because we want to make the most of our finances. So I can show you that, like, listen, 
it really makes you think what products from what brands were really my holy grails because I was not buying multiples of stuff. Probably the only thing I have multiples of and only because I had coupons is liquid blush. Um, I had bought the e.l.f. liquid camo and then I had a coupon for the one the ones I like were, was going nuts about the flower beauty ones and I did repurchase that. So other than that now some of my makeup some I was able to save especially stuff that was in plastic and um, I've been able to clean off. I did buy a Z palette to try to see if I can save any um, any of my palette makeup okay i hate those songs like my eyeshadows because all like my color pop ones that were in cardboards the cardboards wreck but i think the eyeshadow may be salvageable so i did order a z palette so we'll probably do a, a asmr depotting video um yeah so this channel may just be whatever it can be for a while um i guess i'll show you like the rebuilding process and camper organization camper meals just vlogging camper life like i said makeup i don't know what the makeup front is going to look like so just bear with me on that the willingness of people to step up and step out and help us has really made me grateful and also really want to get our financial situation to where if this happens to someone we're able to be those people that stand in the gap for them like others have done for us because i mean we wouldn't be able to have what we have or to replenish how we have without people's support and the thing is they just did it out of love for us and our family And even the people who haven't been able to give, just knowing that people are like, hey, I'm here if you need me. And they really mean it. It just makes me thankful. And I want to be able to get into a situation to where we can be those people who can help others. Financially or otherwise. Um, so that is my hope through all of this is that we can come out financially smarter and better make wise choices um and maybe re reset some things sadly i don't know if i've ever showed my bible on here i think i have i think i did a video on it once i lost my bible now the boys' bibles they made it because i have bibles for my boys that i have never started but that i want to put like bible verses in and quotes and inspiration and stuff like that well, I never got to it, but their Bible survived, so that is good. My Bible, it didn't get in the fire, but when they sprayed the rafters, it got completely soaked. Um, and a lot of my notes and stuff have bled to where I really can't even read them. So I'm kind of having to start fresh, which a very lovely lady at my church, Miss Judy, bought me a new bible she was like you tell me what you want and i'll get it and i i have i have clothes and stuff because a lot of people have donated and i was like well i'm getting ready to repurchase a new bible she goes well i'll get it for you so thanks to miss judy i now have a new bible it's the same bible it's just a different color um so i can start doing that again and get in my bible because I really haven't had time to sit down and study or read except for the little bit that I did the other night getting ready for our women's meeting that's coming up at my church. I don't know. I just don't even have words right now because I'm, I, I don't know. It's been so busy. I really haven't had time to process it. I just know I'm not upset. I'm thankful at how just amazing everyone has been. Like, look at this. This is awesome. I don't even know what this is, but it's like this little matching track suit. And I'm like, shut up. Catherine's it's like this little matching suit it's got matching pants somewhere I'm like well if I ever start working out <laughs> I really want to eventually that is a goal like once my little one gets in school I want to start working out every day like I'm literally 
doing my darndest here to organize. Is that my puppy? Who's coming in? Me, Steven. So anyways, I don't know if I have anything else to say right now. I might add more to this vlog later before I actually finish and upload it. But what a girl can't do with some labels and a Sharpie. Rule the world. Who runs the world? A mom with a Sharpie. Who runs the world? A mom with a Sharpie. Who runs the world? A mom with a Sharpie. So anyway, wow, I'm actually getting a lot done and I'm really impressed. Makes me happy. I thought if I just take an hour, I bet I could knock out a lot of this. Stay tuned. Lots of adventures to come. We're going to be rebuilding where we originally were. So, yeah. You can come with me on that process because I've never built a house before. And I have lots of ideas. So, that's going to be fun. I can make it exactly what I want within a budget. Um, makeup. I'll do my best. And, yeah. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you will like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.